Although lakes are among the most beautiful bodies of water, not all lakes possess the same life-giving properties as most. In this video, we will explore the seven most polluted lakes in the world and what dangers they can bring. Number 7. Belandur Lake in India. Belandur Lake is a lake in India. It sits in the suburban Belandur, located southeast of Bengaluru city. The lake is the city's largest lake used for landing amphibious aircraft back when the place was still under British rule. However, when urbanization came, the lake became a part of the city's drainage system and is currently a highly polluted lake with sewage. The foam covering the lake's surface caught fire in May 2015 and burned for hours, garnering international attention. Since then, the lake has seen fire several times, most recently in January 2018 and March 2021. Number 6. Popek Lake in Siberia. Popek Lake is a man-made reservoir in Siberia and was built to provide hydroelectric power. As heavy rain fell in January 2021, loads of floating trash and plastic garbage almost clogged the dam's outlets. Often known as the Lake of Garbage, Popek Lake is now a vast expanse of plastic that stretches nearly as far as the eye can see. The waste is projected to span around 700,000 cubic feet or 20,000 cubic meters, with the majority of it originating from landfills uphill along the Lim River. Number 5. Serra Pelada Lake in Brazil The Serra Pelada Lake in Brazil isn't an actual lake at all. Instead, it's an old gold mine that's become abandoned and flooded. The mine, located 270 miles, 430 kilometers, south of the Amazon River's mouth, has generated a small polluted lake. Large regions around the mine are considered dangerously contaminated due to mercury in the gold extraction process. Mercury levels in fish eaten downstream from the mine are also high. Number 4. Lake Victoria in Kenya Tanzania and Uganda. Lake Victoria is known worldwide as it is the largest tropical lake globally. It is also the largest lake in Africa and second to Lake Superior's surface area for the largest freshwater lakes. The Nile River is the only outlet for the lake, which receives the majority of its water from rainfall. Due to its vastness and extensive shoreline, which includes islands that make up 3.7% of the entire shoreline, the lake is home to various indigenous fish species. Despite Lake Victoria's popularity, it may surprise you that this African Great Lake is actually polluted. Its vast surface area and volume only made pollution prevention more difficult, primarily because three countries, Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda share the lake. Thus, all three countries must take action and work together to reduce the lake's waste. Number 3. Lake Tai or Taihu Lake in China. Lake Tai is bordered by megacities such as Suzhou, Wuxi, and Shanghai and is located in the Tai Basin's built-up area. Its location alone makes it the center of three huge cities, making it inevitable for Lake Tai to suffer from pollution. Lake Tai is China's third-largest freshwater lake, and it has been burdened by pollution in recent years due to the neighboring county's fast urbanization. While there is little information about the lake's contamination, many factories are on its banks, all of which are likely to dump waste materials into its waters. Despite the government's apparent efforts to lessen the pollution levels, the situation appears to be worsening. Number 2. Onondaga Lake in New York. Located in central New York, Onondaga Lake is a demictic lake with a surface area of 4.6 square miles. Two natural tributaries, namely Nine Mile Creek and Onondaga Creek, contribute approximately 70% of the total water flow to Onondaga Lake. Metro, or the Metropolitan Syracuse Wastewater Treatment Plant, accounts for 20% of the lake's annual flow. No other lake in the United States gets as much treated wastewater as Onondaga Lake. Number 1. Lake Karache in Russia. Lake Karache is a small lake in western Russia's southern Ural Highlands. It is regarded as the most polluted lake or even site on the planet. The lake, which is only one square mile in size, was used by the Soviet Union as a nuclear waste dump for 12 years between 1934 and 1957. According to reports, high-level radioactive waste covers practically the entire lake, down to a depth of 3.4 meters. In some places around the lake, radiation levels are enough to be fatal to a human in as short as 30 minutes. The Soviet Union began using Lake Karache as a dumping ground for radioactive waste from a local nuclear waste containment and reprocessing plant in 1951. According to some estimations, the lake possesses 4.44 exabecrels, ebeek, of radiation, close to the Chernobyl tragedy, which spewed 5 to 12 ebeek of radiation over a far broader area. Thank you for watching. If you like this type of content, please leave a like, comment and subscribe to make the algorithm god happy.